So hey everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Twixter in Premiere Pro. Before we do start, make sure to keep in mind that this will not work with every single clip as the frames that are next to each other need to look similar otherwise the Twixter is going to look very distorted. This clip is a great example as you can see the frames next to each other are very like similar to each other. Anyways let's start. So to start off what you need to do is trim your clip. We're going to click on the razor tool or just click C on our keyboard and we are going to cut every single frame frame that moves so I'm just going to move forward until there is a frame that moves so I'm just going to go forward and as you can see a frame just moves so I'm just going to cut that I'm going to keep going forward until I see another one right there and just repeat this process so I'll be back once I'm done now once you are done all you need to do is trim each clip into one frame and when I say clip I mean each of these right here so I'm going to turn this into one frame I'm going to do the same with this one as well but I also need to fill in the gap so I'm just going to ripple delete just like that continue this process with the rest and just turn them into one frame now hopefully it should look smooth depending on your clip so mine will look like this now what you need to do is just nest all of these clips so what i'm going to do is hold left click and then just hover over all of them and then right click and then click on nest click on ok and then it should turn into this now we are going to add twixter so if we just search twixter in the effects panel we're going to add twixter pro and now we're going to hold alt and then use our mouse wheel to expand this or you can just hover your mouse over this little bar and then just expand it manually make it big enough so then it's easier to see next up what you want to do is right click on this little effects box right here right click and then head over to time remapping and then speed this is the part where you can experiment your clip with so you can do whatever you like but feel free to follow me so what you can do is hold control and then just click anywhere you like anywhere that is at the start so i'm just going to click over here head towards near the end so i'm just going to head over like here and this is where you can speed up and slow down the clip so all you need to do now is just drag the first keyframe as many frames as you need to so i'm just going to go about let's say one two three four four keyframes ahead I'm gonna go back to the last keyframe, one, two, three, four, drag that. And then I'm gonna go in between these two keyframes. And then if you just hover over this little bar at the bottom here, or should I say in the middle, all you need to do is just hold and then drag down. You're going to see this percentage, which is basically the speed. I'm gonna drag it down to something like 50. In fact, I'll do something like 40 instead. Now, if I explain what's going on here, you'll see that it actually ramps up at the beginning. So it starts off quick, and then it becomes slower and slower and then it just starts to speed up again. That is basically what we've done here, so it looks like this. It may not look that effective, but of course you can experiment and make it look whatever you want it to look like, I guess. As I said before, you can try other things. So what I'm going to do is now delete these keyframes, just the ones at the end. And what I'm going to do now is lower the middle band once again. I'm going to lower it to around, let's say, 5. And what I'm going to also do is expand the first keyframe. So I'm going to click and then drag forward. And it's going to look something like this. For some reason it does fade out at the end and that's probably because I don't have enough clips. Just experiment with what you have. What I can also do is drag the, uh, what's it called again, the middle bar. I can drag it down and it's going to look something like this. If you do want to get rid of any keyframes all you have to do is just highlight them and then just press delete. You can also just simply make it look slow so I'm just going to drag the bar down and it's going to look something like this. There are also ways where you can make the Twixter look more effective. If you head over here to where it says image prep, you can select the settings. I don't really use them, I don't really see the point. It doesn't really make a big difference in my clips, but it may work for you, so feel free to try them. Anyways, that is it for this tutorial. I'm so sorry if this was a mess. I don't really use Twixter a lot myself. It's not really useful in Premiere Pro, but if you do have any questions, then do let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. So yeah, peace.